Hi friends, it's another breezy day out in the Sonoran Desert today. I'm southeast of Tucson at the historic Empire Ranch. Quite a few westerns have been filmed out here. It's a beautiful place. In fact, while I was shooting today, we had a herd of cattle move through with dogs and horses and all the yippee ki -yay you can imagine. Great day. But what's even more exciting about that is this brand new AR-15. It's a seven pound AR-15, shoots sub minute of angle. But what's really exciting about it is it's chambered for 308. I know what you're saying. You say, well, Mr. Deddy has his nomenclature mixed up. It should be an AR-10. You're wrong. This is an AR-15 chambered for 308. A couple of weeks ago, Frank DeSoma, founder and president of Patriot Ordnance Factory, invited me up to his shop. And he told me, he said, Mike, there are so many people trying to develop cartridges that will shoot like a 308. We have the 6.8 and the 300 blackout. Everybody's building these cartridges inside the envelope of an AR-15. And what he decided was if somebody really wants to shoot a 308 out of an AR-15, let's build an AR-15 and 308. The revolution is the result of two years of development, Frank's hard work, and it's a sharp shooting son of a gun. Biggest thing I mentioned, you'll notice it's the 308 caliber. It, uh, it uses a Magpul 20 round mag. Of course, any of the, the 308 Magpul magazines will work with this gun. The unique thing is the distance between the takedown hole and the hinge hole are exactly the same. Really, the only thing on the lower that's bigger is the magazine well. Of course, you can put uh, mil spec triggers in here. This has a uh, POF USA 4.5 pound drop-in trigger. Upper receiver, the same thing. It actually uses an AR-15 bolt carrier group minus the bolt. Actual bolt has a, a more open face, of course, to accommodate the 308 cartridge, and the geometry is slightly different. However, it does slide into a 5.56 barrel extension. Even the buffer tube. Frank uses a standard three, uh, excuse me, standard 5.56 buffer. Um, the tube diameter is exactly the same as the 5.56, so we can use some really neat furniture like Mission First Tactical. Um, one piece rail that uh, Frank does, I think this is 14 and a half inches, actually machines those in his shop, 28 minutes of machine time from a solid piece of extrusion. Uh, the, uh, the action on this is actually a short stroke gas piston. So we have all the benefits of having a cleaner receiver and chamber area inside. And then we have the other refinements that POF is known for, like their E-squared extraction system. Um, we have a chrome-plated bolt carrier group in an NP3 bolt. Uh, this particular rifle has a one minute of angle guarantee. It shot better than that for me, in fact, Five ammunition average just three quarters of an inch with five shot groups. The single best group was over a half inch with federal premium ammunition, 175 grade, I believe it was. So it's a sharp shooting son of a gun. How's it handled? Who are you probably concerned about? Putting a 308 cartridge in an AR-15 platform. Now obviously the recoil's got to be devastating, right? Well the fact is is I've shot 200 rounds from the bench and I'm not even sore and I've got an arthritic shoulder. Very little recoil. In rapid fire as you'll see in the video, the muzzle stays nice and flat. Part of that is due to the design of Frank's gun and part of that is also due to the uh, new 15 degree three port compensator that he's using. If you want to see somebody shoot this gun faster than me, go to pof-usa.com and take a look at some of the videos of his son Cody shooting this thing. You'd swear it was a machine gun. Beautiful gun. If your needs include having a precision gun chambered for 308 that's easy to carry and relatively lightweight, the POF USA Revolution is the ticket.